Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would review used CPA questions that were previously released by the AI CPA. Those questions are the real deal. Those questions will give you an idea what the how the AI CPA tests you on the exam day. Specifically, we're going to be looking at regulation questions. As always, I would like to, con to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where I house my 1,600 plus accounting, auditing, finance, and tax lectures. This is a list of all the courses that I cover, including hundreds of CPA questions. On my website, you will find additional material, such as PowerPoint slides, true, false, multiple choice, CPA simulation, 2000 plus CPA questions. If you're studying for your accounting courses or studying for your CPA exam, I strongly suggest you give me a visit. Let's take a look at the first question. And in the box here, you would see, for example, income tax course chapter 17. It means this topic is covered in my, in my income tax course chapter 17. So this question is about consolida consolidated taxable income, consolidated return. Press Corp and S Swan Corp file a consolidated return. The companies have the following items of income and deduction for the current year. Income from operation, section 1231 losses, capital gain losses. Okay, this is what we have. So the question is, what is press and SWAT consolidated taxable income? And you have to know a little bit about consolidated tax income. I don't, I don't think they will give you a simulation. I mean, I'll be shocked if they give you a simulation about consolidated taxable income. But as a CPA candidate, you need to know how do they compute taxable income in a consolidated return. You need to know the basic rules and by the way on my website if you go to my website i have i have a 15 minute lecture about specifically this topic so you can go there if you're interested and you can learn about this topic okay so the question is what is the consolidated taxable income let's start with the 80 and the 40 do we consolidate those two of course so taxable income for the two is 120 000. now are we done yet no we have section 1231 loss we can deduct 12,000 are we done yet no we have capital gain and capital losses we have capital gain of four capital losses of three well we still have a net capital gain of a thousand now we can look at the net so this is going to be so 120 minus 12 plus 1 109 and the answer is 109. So you need to know what's included and how it's included. Okay. Let's take a look at this question. It also deals with consolidation. Okay. So Rig, Steel, and Urco, all accrual basis calendar year C Corporation has only two voting common stock outstanding. Has have only voting common stock outstanding. Rig owns 85% of steel. Okay. And 40% of Urco. Steel owns 50% of Urco. Which group of corporation qualifies in which group of corporation qualify as an affiliate group and may join in the filing of the tax return? Obviously, you already know that Rick own 85% of S, that's good enough. But since S owns 50% of you and R own 50% of you, they own 90% of you. It's also part of the group. Therefore, all of them are included in this affiliated group. So the answer is C. And this is income tax course. Okay. 23. Sunshine Corporation, a wholly owned subsidiary of Peerport Corp, purchased land from Peerport for its fair market value of 10000 on January 1st of the prior tax year. Okay. Peerport adjusted basis of the land on the date of the sale is 8,000. Fair enough. So they sold the land for 10,000 to a, to, a, to a related party for 8,000. During the tax year, Sunshine sold the land for 9,000 to unrelated party. What gain or loss will be reported will be reported on a consolidated tax return filed by Sunshine and Peerport for the current year for the current year so they're asking us for the current year well guess what here's what happened first they sold it to each other okay they purchased it from ten thousand okay so the first the first transaction is between sunshine s and p 
okay? So S, which is a subsidiary of P, okay? We have S and P purchase the land. And when they purchase the land, they pay 10,000. Therefore, P had a gain of 2,000. P had a gain of 2,000 from the first transaction. Do we include that gain in the consolidated? No, we don't. No, we don't. Now, uh, now during the tax year, S, S, after they purchased the land, S sold the land to outside party for 9,000. They sold it for 9,000. What's the basis? Well, the basis is 8,000. The basis is the original basis, which is we have a gain of 1,000, okay? So notice, the P had, had, had a gain of 2,000, but it's not included in the consolidated return because they're part of each other. Why, why 2,000? Because they sold it for 10, they sold it for 10, and they had a basis of eight. So they had a gain of two, but that's a related party between the two, but really not related party, parent subsidiary, it's not counted, okay? So once you sell it to an outsider, then you count the gain in the consolidated return, which is 8,000 basis, 9,000 fair market value. On January 1st, the partner's interest in capital, profit and losses of studio partnership is as follow, Ross, Stone and Taylor, 15, 35 and 50. April 9th, Stone sold the entire interest to Taylor. So Stone sold his entire interest to Taylor. For tax purposes, which of the following statement is correct regarding the status as a partnership? Okay. So they're asking us A, B, C, and D. The partnership terminated as January 1st, as of the beginning of the year. Uh, there's no reason to select this question because the transaction took place April 9th. Studio terminated as of April 9th. You'll be tempted to do so, but we'll talk about this. Studio term terminated as of December 31st. It means they waited till the end of the year. Not likely. Okay. So you'll be tempted. At this point, if you don't understand the rules, you're going to be tempted between B and the studio did not terminate. And the correct answer is D, the studio did not terminate. It used to, under the old rules, partnership would determinate once the partnership structure had changed. That's no longer the case. If, if they're selling between partners, it did not really terminate, okay? But if an, a third part, a, another, another person sold their interests, then we have one person, you know, for example, if Ross also sold their interest ship to Taylor, then, it will terminate as of April 9th. Let's assume they both sold it to Taylor as of April 9th. But that's not what happened. So the studio did not, the partnership did not terminate. And you have to be aware of the new rules. So what is Lake's distributable net income, which is DNI? This is basically trust. I covered this in chapter 24. Lake Trust, a simple trust, reported the following item of income and expenses during the year. So for the trust, you need to know what's included in distributable net income. Is dividend income sorry, is dividend income included? Yes. Is taxable interest included? Yes. Capital gain? Usually yes, but it's allocable to the corpus. It's allocable to the principal. That's not included. Um, accounting fees, allocable to income. Yes, accounting fees are deducted. They're included in the sense they're negative. Trustee fees allocable to income, that's also negative. So basically we have 4,500 here. Then we have to deduct from it 500, we're down to 4,000. Deduct from the 4,750, we're down to 3,250. And the answer is D as in David, D as in David. You need to know a little bit about this topic, um, uh, state and trust, because why? Why do you need to know about this? It may not be heavy, heavily tested on the exam, but look, this is going to make the difference between a 75 and a 73. Maybe a question like this, who knows, makes the difference between 75 and 75 and 73. So you want to make sure you learn about the state and trust. It's a complicated topic, but I do have it simplified on my YouTube. As always, I would like to invite you to visit my website where I have more resources for you to pass the CPA exam. This is what I do. I help people pass the exam, invest in your career. My subscription is not that much. It's minimal. You can cancel anytime after one month. Good luck. Study hard. And I'm always here to help you succeed in your career.